Little Johnny was a chemist. He was. Little Johnny is no more for what he thought was H2O. It was really H2SO4. Now, what did Johnny do with H2SO4? Well, it's probably funny if you know what H2SO4 is. That's probably true, yeah. Should we teach them what H2SO4 is so they can actually laugh at that? Understand the joke? Uh, I think or we should. Or the poem? Because you were that. kind of poetic that time. It was quite Sometimes poetic. you're poetic and sometimes you just yeah, aren't. I was quoting Shakespeare earlier. Yeah, you yeah. were. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, good. All right. Well, today we're going to learn how to name acids. acids. So you see H2SO4 is an acid. It's sulfuric And if you acid. drink and that particular acid, if yeah, you drink it, it's, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to be nasty. I actually had that explode in my face when I was in college. I bet that hurt. It did. It got in my mouth and it burned holes in my mouth. Not holes, but like sores in my mouth. And it was the most sour thing I've ever tasted in my life. Uh, I should tell you my sulfuric acid story. Uh-oh. Uh, some friends of mine, sort of friends, they were <laughs> chemistry majors, friends. I don't know they were told friends. Colleagues. Colleagues in college. They got a hold of some country sulfuric acid, and they dumped them into the toilets in my dorm room, and the dorm toilets exploded. Lovely. And so we had to, like, go down two floors to go to the restroom ah. for, like, a month and a half. It was very – we were not happy Grand. with them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's our official tro- position that you should never, ever do that. Never, ever. <laughs> It exploded the toilets. Okay, when we name acids, we actually have to look at the polyatomic ions. Yes. If the name of the not just polyatomic, the uh, of the name of the anion. The I anion, say. yeah. The name of the anion, which is the second part. Right, because the cation in acids is always the same. It's always H, H plus. So if the anion ends in the ending I D E, the, the uh, suffix, uh-huh. then it's going to become a hydro something ic acid. So let's say like uh, chloride. Yeah, chloride okay. becomes hydrochloric Chloric acid. acid. Okay. So let's do that on the next page. Let's okay, just go, let's through, just go through the examples. If it here. ends okay. in it, it becomes an us acid. Mm-hmm. And if it ends in eight, it becomes an ic acid. All right. You, you need to copy this down, and you're going to see how this yes. all works. Yes, eight becomes ic, it becomes us, it becomes hydroic. There's, that sounds weird. Kind of rattles. But it's still cool. Okay, so let's see if I can name H2SO4. All right. Now, if we look at S. H2SO4. Actually, you know, let's say one more thing before we get there. What makes acids acids? What? Hydrogen ions. It's the H positive one that's combined with something else. Let's call it X. This X could have, and the X will always be, it could be, well, it could have a negative one charge, a negative two charge, or X could have a negative three charge. There's essentially three kinds of acid, the HX, H2X, and H3X. Yep. Okay, we actually have names for those. That's not important at this stage of the game. Okay, so this one here is a two, but this hydrogen is what makes it an acid. Right. Now, if you look at sulf at SO4 and you look on the polyion, his last name is sulfate. Fate. Now let's look at our chart. Previous slide eight. Eights, as we say, the bottom one ick. becomes ick. So we kind of change the naming and we put the word acid on it, and this becomes sulfuric. Acid. You add the word acid. Yep. And that's it. You see, that's the, the Johnny was no more because he drank the H two SO four the sulfuric acid. The same stuff that blew up the toilets in my dorm room. Okay. <laughs> so that's how. You, so you have to just use that chart, and that chart will help you out. Let's do some more. Okay. That's not Oops. the end of the show. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's do HBr. HBr. All right, notice the H, that means it's an acid. It's an acid, right. And then BR is bromide. bromide. So the BR is bromide, so if you look back at our page somewhere. that had the list, all right, we're finding it here. There it is. If it is ends in IDE, it becomes a hydro something ic acid. Yep, so it's bromide, so it's hydro brom. So this is hydro bromic acid. acid. Don't just say hydrobromic, it's a hydrobromic acid, okay? Um, how about we do HClO4? Okay. All right, so ClO4, you have to look at your polyion yep. list. His name is? Perchlorate. Perchlorate. And all the eights become ic acids. So this turns into an ic acid. So instead of perchlorate, it's perchloric. It's per. Chloric acid. acid. Okay. Okay. All right. What about if we do HNO2? Okay. Now NO2 is nitrite, nitrite. but ites, if we look on our chart here, right, it becomes us. us. Not us, us, but O-U-S. it's spelled 
Oos. 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 So this is Ni nitrous acid. That's pretty easy. It is. Now what if we were to go the other direction? All right, let's start with a name. All right, so let's say that we have um, sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid, okay. Well, us acids come from ite well, yeah, ions. So we're going to go backwards. So we have the us. We're going to go the other direction. It came from an ite. So it came from what thing? So sulfurous came from sulfite. Sulfite. And sulfite, if we look on our polyatomic ion table, is SO3 with a minus 2 charge. Now the acid tells you it's going to combine always with, with H. Ions. Now H has a charge of positive 1, first column on the mm -hmm. periodic table. And so that, that does doesn't add up, up to zero. zero. So you still have to play the charge game, yeah, or what do you want to call it. it? So the lowest common multiple is 2, so I need two of those, so that becomes H2SO3. How about we do phosphoric acid? Okay, it's an ic acid. So if we look on our chart, ic acids come Came. from eight ions. So that's phosphate. Phosphate. So that's going to be phosphate if we look PO4. on our table. Four. Hopefully minus. by this stage you might have gotten that semi memorized. Okay. Negative three. Negative three. That means we need three hydrogens. And to the move hydrogens up. a positive one, so I need three hydrogens. So that is H three PO four. Yep. Let's do HClO. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, good call, Mr. Sams. We haven't done one like that. All right, on the blank screen here. What if I have HClO? Now, HClO, ClO, look on your polyatomic ion list, is called hypochlorite. Yeah, I just realized that made us go back the other direction. I started with the formula. We're going back to the names again. That's all right. We were just doing names in the formula. But that's it right. It ends in ite, so it becomes an us. Us, right. So this is just hypochlorous. Mm-hmm. Acid. Acid. Right. Uh, let's do one more name to formula. Let's do uh, hydroiodic acid. Ooh, I like that. Hydroiodic acid. This is my favorite acid. You'll see why. Okay. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> Hi if, it be if it's a hydroic hydro acid, acid, it came from the one that ended in ide. Ide. So that's iodide. Now, iodide is just the i with a charge, with which a is minus negative one. one. Yep. H. The acid right here, we kind of go mm -hmm. backwards, kind of like this, don't we? Yep. H has a positive charge, so this is H positive, I negative. They had zero already, yep. so this is a very happy one. It's Hi! Happy acid. Hi! It's HI, hydroiodic acid. There it is. That's how you name acid. That's not, it. Not, not really rocket science, no. is it? No, no it's no, chemistry. Pretty, it's just chemistry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, good. Well, you're done with unit two. Congratulations. Yay. Bye.